Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to prepare a Zener voltage regulator circuit in Multisim. And in the next video of the same playlist, we will learn how to design a Zener voltage regulator. And we are going to implement that design into the Multisim in upcoming videos. So for all these learnings, stay connected to this channel. Welcome to another video on video lecture series of Multisim tutorial. In this video, we are going to prepare a simulation circuit of a Zener voltage regulator. So without wasting any time, let's get started. This is the simplest circuit of Zener voltage regulator. But you can see at input side, we need to give some DC supply, right? So first of all, we are going to prepare a DC supply for our Zener voltage regulator. And for that, we will prepare a full wave bridge rectifier with filter. So first of all, we'll use this menu bar. And uh, from all family, we'll take a source, AC power source. Okay, first component we got. Then we want some ground. Thereafter, we'll go to basics. And from this basics, we'll take one transformer, one P1S, one primary, one secondary transformer, we'll take. And then we require some diodes, right? So again, we'll go to the diodes and we'll take one N4007 diode. It is very much famous and well-known diode, right? So four diode, then after we want to use a filter, a capacitor filter. So for that we require a capacitor. So we'll go to basics and in basics, we'll go to capacitor and we'll take any one random capacitor. Right, so first of all, let's prepare this circuit. We'll use this transformer to step down the voltage. If you want to, you know, rotate it 90 degree, Control plus R is a shortcut key. Control C plus Control V is the key to replicate it or just copy and paste it. Okay, so we have four diode which I have connected in this manner. So now connect this transformer, the secondary of the transformer should be connected like this and the primary of transformer should be connected like this, right? So up to here, everything is ready and now we are going to use this filter. So we have connected this filter over here and here make it like this so it uh, looks good okay so filter capacitor is connected now we need a load resistor right here is a load resistor and again we need a zener diode now so we'll go to diodes and we'll take this zener diode now there are various types of Zener diode. We are going to use one and four seven three four Zener diode because the rating of this Zener diode is as per our requirement. In next video, we are going to design a complete Zener voltage regulator. And over there, I'll explain why we are using this specific Zener diode. So let's get this Zener diode. Control plus R make a copy of this resistance because we'll use this as our series resistance for the Zener voltage regulator
let me arrange all these things in this manner because I want to explain something that's why okay so now let's connect this circuit resistance is connected to the Zener diode and this is our load resistance the value of this resistance is 48 ohm sorry it's 48 ohm right now I'm going to change the value over here the source voltage is 220 volt and the frequency is 50 Hertz because in the nation where I am staying the frequency is 50 Hertz I want to ask you all a question where do you leave the name of the country and the frequency your country is using write that thing in comment section below so it's our supply and what do we want we want to convert this 220 volt into 12 volt at output side so we'll just simply write it 220 by 12 primary is 220 and secondary is 12 volt so this transformer will convert 220 volt into the 12 volt this capacitor it's of 30 microfarad all this value why I, I am using this specific value that I am going to explain into another video which is how to design a Zener voltage regulator the link for that video is provided in down description box and over here above in card okay now we'll take one oscilloscope we'll connect this across this resistance right and let's duplicate it and the another one we are going to connect before Zener diode right over here and we'll make the color blue right so we'll observe two waveforms in this oscilloscope one is the input of this Zener voltage regulator and the another one is the output of this Zener voltage regulator now let's run the circuit stop let's bring it over here now I think it's everything clearly visible now you can observe see the blue one is in channel B and the red one is in channel A so the channel A is T2 we are observing just observe over here it's constant 5.6 right so the output of our Zener diode voltage regulator is constant 5.6 volt and the blue one is our input and it is on channel B so now observe this section it's 15 right now and it has changed up to 6 volts up to 15 to 6 so it's varying in between 15 and 6 volts and still the output is constant 5.6 volt so this is how you can prepare the circuit of a Zener voltage regulator if you want to learn how to design the Zener voltage regulator then watch another video in which I have shown the calculation and step-by-step -step process to design the Zener voltage regulator and the link for that video is provided down in description box and above here in card so until we meet again in our next video, till the time, bye bye.